Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Kyle Busch's Coca-Cola 600 win from 2018. As always, take a quick look at the box. As you can tell, this is your typical generic 2018 race winner box. Got Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, got the checkered flag and the finish line, got the winner sticker and raced version. Down the side, you got 2018 race winner, 2018 Charlotte Motor Speedway winner. Got to render the car right there, standard finish, Lionel Racing. They made a total of 913 of these things. Standard finish, got your winner sticker, Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. On the back of the box, you of course have your 2018 race schedule. You got 2018 action racing collectibles. And you of course have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. But anyways, let's get down to the car itself. Got that quite nice looking patriotic M&M's paint scheme. Watch this paint scheme stay the same for about three years now. Maybe it'll change for 2019. I don't know. But this is basically exactly what a patriotic M&M's car should look like. The classic base design with the red, white, blue colors. This is the first time the Patriotic M&M's car has ever won a race. Much like the Halloween car in 2017. This of course does come with a few things. You have your little bag of Coca-Cola bottle confetti. All chrome and shiny. And you of course have your race winner stat card. If you want to read that. Cowboys is pretty much unstoppable in this race. Won all four stages because they actually put four stages in the Coca-Cola 600. Anyways, let's do a quick 360 of the car. They made this paint scheme in 2016, the first year it ran. Then they offered it in 2017 and got DNP'd. And then this year they only made the raced version. They actually were going to offer a clean version. A clean version popped up very momentarily on their site like the Monday after this race. And they took it right back down. <laughs> they left it up long enough that there actually is going to be a NASCAR Authentics release of the clean version of this car from this year. I imagine it doesn't have food line on the back. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors and such. On the hood, you have m, &M, &M. Got Toyota Camry, number 18, and Joe Gibbs Racing. Does have your Sergeant Toth, Soldier Windshield Banner. I do actually remember that after the race in Victory Lane, he actually did mention this guy in Victory Lane, which that was really cool to see. I like when drivers actually pay attention to what's on their car instead of being like, oh yeah, we have a soldier. I don't know who he is. <laughs> Seems like Kyle actually knew who he was, so that's kind of nice to see. On the side, you have M&M's. You got a picture of red with an American top hat. You got Ream back there. In front of the rear wheel, you got Interstate Batteries, Freightliner, Doosan, Mac Tools, Cessna, Siemens, Lincoln Welders, NATCA, and Sherwin-Williams. On the C post, you have Stanley. And on the B post, you got Toyota, Joe Gibbs Racing, Snickers, Twix, Skittles, Pedigree, and American Heritage. Just have your NASCAR Salutes A post logo, of course. On the back, you have Toyota Camry XSE, number 18, and Food Lion. And on the deck lid, it says hashtag 18 in 18, with some M&Ms below it. And on the roof, you have another line of M&Ms. The DIN number on this car is under the front here, because the back window is so covered in confetti. This is number 214, as you can see. Got the same stuff down the other side, but of course, I have Milky Way instead of Twix. Let's take a look under the hood. See, it says Toyota, Let's Go Places, and M&M's. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no deck lid, but of course still has the roof flaps that you've come to expect by now, which do not want to open very far. And there's the underside of the car again that you just saw a little while ago. <laughs> but anyways, let's get down to damage. This really doesn't have much in the way of damage, but it is quite dirty. Being a white car, you can really see all the tire and marks and the rubber buildup and the dirt and everything. And one nice thing about this card, it is covered in a bunch of M&M wrappers and M&Ms. You can see there's one right there with a few M&Ms spilling out of it. Looks like a peanut wrapper. Down the side, you got just some more dirt and grime and stuff. Really nothing too exciting. It does have your little rivets on the side skirt. Which some of the rivets are like having stuff come out of them for some reason. This car is very, very dirty around the right rear. It does have a little bit of some tire buildup on the wheel well. You see there's even confetti all the way on the back bumper at the bottom of the back bumper. They really kind of piled this one with confetti. Even the spoiler is quite dirty. On the left side, it has a little bit of a tire mark right there. I forget what that's from. If that's from like somebody congratulating him after the race or if he actually did get into somebody during this race. You have more confetti and such. You see there are more M&M's wrappers on the roof. Got another peanut one right there. Got a milk chocolate one right there. And you see there's tons of M&M's wrappers on the back here. You got like five of them piled up. Some of them are really clear, and then you have some of these that are like 
covered in red for some reason. Not really entirely sure what that is. Let's have some more M&Ms right there. You can see beside the shark fin and everything. Which I do have to call Joe Gibbs Racing out. Why do you have so many M&M wrappers on this car, but not a single one of them appears to be, you know, the red, white, and blue M&Ms? <laughs> the entire purpose for this car is the red, white, and blue M&Ms, but none of the wrappers you have in Victory Lane are the red, white, and blue M&Ms. <laughs> I do have to point out one inaccuracy. On the real car, there was some little circular logo right there, like next to Ream on top of red. I never really figured out exactly what it was. They kind of added it for the race. It wasn't there in practice or anything. But I'm sure it was some like military something or other they couldn't get the rights for, and that's probably why it's not on this car. This does also have, this does also have the support our troops tires, which is nice to see. If you want this car, it is a brand new release, but this one has definitely seemingly been popular so far. A lot of people like the patriotic wins when they actually do win the Coca-Cola 600. So I'm sure this will be a popular race and they might get rare down the road. But I think it's chance ours to say this has been a review of Kyle Bush's Coca-Cola 600th win. Hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.